product may not wash off. Sorry. I think it's time for breakfast. <sighs> Yummy. This isn't your cereal. <gasps> Manis, is that you? You look... I know, fabulous. It's this new look I'm trying. What do you think? Um, Manis? <laughs> what? But are you sure you followed the steps correctly? <gasps> OK, OK, you know the plan, right, Isabella? Yes, we're going to go in there and throw that water balloon right at Malice. Exactly. We're going to get her back for all the times she pranked us. Sorry to interrupt her. Wrong tower. There are no other towers, Liliana. Sure there are. <laughs> I thought we were in Paris. Yeah, Paris. And this was the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> anyway, my mistake, gotta go, bye. So it's Malice's birthday and she doesn't have any guests whatsoever, except for Timothy the spider. That's awful. Poor Malice. But I've got a plan. What do you say about throwing Malice a birthday party? I know we don't always get on, but I can't imagine how lonely it would be having a birthday party with no one there. <gasps> You're right. I'm in. Now we've just got to convince Malice to come to the party. But how? I've got it! Dear Malice. Ooh, that was a lot of cake for the two of us, Timothy. Ooh. attention that you are brilliant at pranking princesses. Ah oh, well, <laughs> so we'd like to give you a box of princess pranks for absolutely free. Simply come to 78 Zuzania Avenue to collect your free box. Yours sincerely, the Princess Pranking Society for experts at pranking princesses. I knew one day my talents would be recognised. <laughs> What now? Now we wait. <gasps> Surprise! What's this? And where's my box of princess pranks? Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! It's not.
not my birthday. Wait, what? But you were having a birthday party and there was no one there. <laughs> yes, I had a party, but Timothy, my pet spider, won today. <laughs> You think I'd have no one at my party? All the evil villains of Kitty Zoozaland come to my parties. Hey you! Come on in! Evil snacks and drinks in the corner! Tuck in! Hey! Timothy's playing the tunes! Come on, get in and go on that dance floor! Hey! Quick! They're gonna play Pin the Tail on the Princess in five minutes! Yo! Wait till you see what flies out of the evil party bags! a waste of time. Hello, looking for a malice. That would be me. Got a box of princess pranks for you here from the Princess Pranking Society for experts at pranking princesses. I thought that was something you made up to get malice to come here. Me too. <laughs> what a wonderful day for a tea party in the sunshine, eh Mr Snuggles? It's going to be quite a feast, and guess what? I brought your favourite strawberries! Wait, what? Oh, you ate them already, didn't you Mr Snuggles? You cheeky bear! Well, at least you left me one. Huh? Oh, what do you like? Well, I've got some strawberry jam somewhere. If you can handle any more strawberries. Goes great on a sky. Oh, hang on. Where are the scones? Mr. Snuggles, have you eaten all the strawberries, all the jam, and all the scones? Strawberry jam. But if you're over here, then... How did the jam get over there? Unless you didn't eat the jam at all. There's only one person this could have been. Malice. Blueberries, raspberries, but no strawberries. Probably because she stole them from our picnic, Mr. Snuggles. Olivia! <laughs> Trying to steal my jam recipe, are you? No, Madis. I believe it's you who stole something of ours. Look, Olivia, you don't have to steal my recipes. I've got a cookbook in stores. You? A cookbook in stores? And online. I don't believe it. Seriously, here it is. The evil cookbook with no strawberries. No strawberries? Not a single one. Can't stand them all. Oof. Turns out a lot of people can't. The book's been selling like mad. Oh, bye then, strawberry lover. I just don't understand, Mr. Snuggles. If Malice didn't take our food, then who? <gasps> All the food's gone. Oh, Willow, this is 
why we stopped inviting you to these things. Kitty Zeezo. What do you think, Mr. Snuggles? Oh, Mr. Snuggles, you're too kind. Let's just hope the judges on Zoos has got talent agree. Now, come on, Mr. Snuggles, let's get some dinner. We're going to need some serious energy for this competition. There's only going to be one winner of Zoos has got talent, Olivia. And it's going to be me. <laughs> Come on, Olivia, you've got this. Okay, Olivia, you're up. Look after my bear. performance and by interesting I mean absolutely terrible hey! but due to the other performances being worse hey oh come on even your bear thought it was bad anyway Mads is in the lead and it'd be a miracle if somebody changed that this late in the competition Well, this just got interesting. Like he has any chance of beating me when I've got my cursed mannequin! Wait, where is it? Dancer. Looks like Barry is firmly in the lead. <coughs> I hope you two are happy together. <coughs> Esme, would you mind turning that down a bit? It's really loud. Esme! Fine. Uh, Olivia, I think the battery. 
batteries in your remote are dead. Um, there should be some spare ones in the drawer. <sighs> Can't see any. Where are they? Ooh. Never mind. Is that better, Olivia? Olivia? I can't hear you, Olivia. Olivia. Oh, I didn't hear you coming, Olivia. You scared me. Um, are you okay, Olivia? Olivia, you've lost your voice. It's like someone's turned down your volume. <laughs> Hello, Esme. Lost, are we? Oh, no, not Malice. Pizza! Oh, Liliana! 
Hannah, just in time. Where's the cheese? The cheese? Yes, I asked you to bring the cheese. Oh, I thought you said... Uh, dreams! <laughs> Fine, I forgot the cheese. I'll just go and get some. Cheese! 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 I swear I bought some cheese. So it's cheese that you're after. What cheese are you after? I've got super stringy cheese strings. Extra smelly brie. Exploding baby bells? Do you have any mozzarella? Do I have mozzarella? No. <laughs> but I've got something better. Put this on your pizza and it will be the best pizza you've ever eaten. Thanks, but I never said I was making pizza. I know. It's written on your flip chart. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait. You're not a mysterious cheese salesman, are you? Would a mysterious cheese salesman store camembert in their hat? <laughs> No, I believe you, but please just put your hat back on. Well, I best be off. Here, have a baby bell for a token of goodwill. I'm back, and I got cheese this time. Ah, oh, good. say anything this cheese is guaranteed to make a pizza amazing a non-mysterious cheese salesman told me I don't know I'll just try it out Liliana I don't know it doesn't really look safe to eat oh come on Olivia what harm could it do okay you like calzone princesses? Well, this is great. We're trapped inside a giant pizza. If only Esme were here, she could eat her way out in no time. <gasps> oh no, Esme! What is it? I invited Esme over for pizza. If she sees the pizza, she'll eat it with us inside. But it's raw. That won't stop her. It's pizza o'clock! She'll be here soon. Quick, we have to think of something. I know! This exploding baby bell should do the trick. I'm starving! <gasps> Malice shaped pizza! Needs more tomato though! <laughs> more tomato coming right up! Kitty Zooza! Hey! Oh, sorry! Malice, what are you even doing here? Well, even evil witches need to eat. Um, well, it was nice to see you, Malice. I'm sure it was. Liliana, can you pass me an apple? Oh. Ah, my bag! Hang on. This isn't my wand. What? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, Mira, you make me so happy. Mira, oh, Mira, make my hairline thinner. What happened? 
happened to my hair? <gasps> Liliana! Come on, Liliana, cast a spell. Let's see what Malice's wand can do. Chocolate bar, chocolate bar, turn yourself into a car. this again. Mirror, oh mirror, make my hairline thinner. No, it's the wrong wand. Video game, video game, make myself win a game. come up with some really great inventions, but I have no ideas. Hmm, inventor's block, is it? Yeah, I just want futuristic stuff from the world of tomorrow. But, you know, today. Hmm. Liliana, all your problems are solved. Are you sure about this? Yes, you want to find the coolest gadgets of tomorrow, today. Then, you need to find out about tomorrow. And what better way than... A fortune teller! But why would a fortune teller just knock on the door? Doesn't that seem a bit suspicious? I guess we'll find out. I am Mystic Surprise Meg. I see all. I see the past. I see the future. I see the now. I mean, we can all see the now. Ah, Princess Liliana, the fates have brought you to me. You came to us. I see a vision. Sit, child. <laughs> Go on then, what do you see? I see the future. Look closely, child. The, that's my lab. It's so messy. Why does it look untidy? Look deeper. 
What am I doing? Working, trying, failing. What do you mean? Look at the paper. Ah, a touch of inventor's block, I see. You mean my inventor's block will never end? No, I'm afraid not. There'll be tens using gold coins, please. Next! But Next! Ah, this is nice, isn't it? Sure. Now, look deep into the ball. Right. Much better. I hope you've got your grapes at the ready. It's time to settle in for a food feast of our next movies. The Grape Gatsby, Grape Expectations, Planet of the Grapes, and... We need to this great marathon with some not great grape news. The world has run out of grapes! Repeat, there are no grapes left. They're all gone. All of them. Madness! I don't know what to do. What do we eat? Apples? <laughs> Plums? They're just bigger, worse grapes! Enjoy them whilst you can, for they will soon be gone. That will be 20 zoos and gold coins, please. Next! But next! Well, it looks like the end of the world. Your fortune is just about grapes. Don't remind me, it hurts too much. I could just make a machine that makes grapes if you wanted. Then you'd never run out. You could do that. Sure, easy. There we go, all done. You're a genius, Liliana. But I'll still have inventors block forever. <laughs> Liliana, for a smart person, you are silly. Oh, that's just what I need to hear. No, you just invented a grape machine and you didn't even realise. Your inventor's block is gone. You've changed the future. Prepare to go down, young Esme. Well, prepare to go down, uh, youngest Olivia. No one beats Esme at competitive eating. Three. Two, one, go! No! No! Whoa, your tooth fell out. And you know what that means. I win the race? Exactly. Wait, what? No, it means a visit from the Tooth Fairy! What are you going to spend the Susan Penny on? I'm going to save it. Boring! Hold this. <gasps> Whoa! How many teeth have you lost? Olivia. <sighs> ah, yes, a fine specimen. Wonderful shine. Oh, how exciting! Another tooth ready for collection. Good 
Down here, Timothy, you naughty spider. Honestly, this is the last time I let you out of the tower. <gasps> I'm lost! Ah! Ooh, what have we here? <laughs> My very own pet tooth fairy. Ugh, let me out of here, Malice! Ha, no chance. Now time to find that pesky old spider, Timothy. Well, has she been? <laughs> Apparently not. That's not like the Tooth Fairy. She even came that time I tried to trick her. You think you can trick me that easily? Come on, let's go get ice cream. That will cheer you up. For breakfast? Duh. Good, right? Mm. Well... I'm not sure the Tooth Fairy would approve, but yeah, delicious. Hang on, is that Malice's spider? Timothy? It is. <gasps> well, we better return him. You know how much Malice loves that spider. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah, <gasps> Princessies! What are you doing here? That's not very nice, Malice. Look, we brought Timothy back for you. Timothy! Oh, Timothy, darling, I missed you so much. Help! Hang Help! on, what's that noise? Help! Noise? Help! What noise? Help! Malice. You're acting weird, and that's coming from me. Are you eating something? No. Question. Enjoy the new gnashes, Malice. You may want to get to the dentist. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Definitely worth the wait. You know, Esme, you are my favourite customer. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zuziji. You're my favourite pizza making person thing wearing a hat. Oh, sorry, Esme. I need to uh, take uh, this. Uh, your pizza will be ready soon. Yes? Ah, oh, see. Oh. Easy, girl. Well, I'm not sure the type. Hello? Hello? Esme, can I ask you a favour? What is it, Mr Zuziji? Will you watch the shop while I go out for a moment? <laughs> sure, Mr Zuziji. No problem. Oh, thank you, Esme. Ooh. Come on, Esme. You can do this. Just don't eat the pizza. Mm. Oh. No, Esme, that's not your pizza. Well, I am looking after the shop. And I am Mr. Zuziji's favourite customer. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I had just one slice. Esme, what are you doing? <gasps> Mr. Zuziji, I'm so sorry. I got so hungry waiting. I didn't think you'd mind if I had one slice. Esme! You've eaten all the pizzas in my shop! <laughs> I'm really sorry, Mr. Zuziji! You don't know the half of it, Esme. This is going to cost me a fortune. Mr. Zuziji's Pizza Palace will have to shut down. No! 
<laughs> Mr. Zuziji, wait! What if I deliver all the pizzas? Huh? Well, I suppose you do owe me after you basically ruined my business. Although, come to think of it, if you were to just pay for the pizza... Don't worry, Mr. Zuziji. I will deliver all the pizzas! Right, let's do this. Right, last one. Not so fast! Malice, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Trying to muscle in on my turf, are we, Esme? I'm just delivering pizzas for Mr. Zuziji, so the other big pizza companies don't put him out of business. Oh, really? Ha! Looks like we're going to the same place, Esme. Not if I can help it, Malice. Ha! Good luck, Esme. to deliver my pizza. Say goodbye to your precious Mr. Zuziji. Haha, <laughs> 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 move aside, Malice. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> Esme, I was expecting a pizza. Right you are, Olivia. Fresh from Mr. Zuziji. Oh, great, thanks. I was actually expecting one from Papa Zoo's as well. Oh, don't trust them, Olivia. You're better off with Mr. Zuziji's. I think you're right, Esme. <coughs> this is so unfair. <coughs> you know what? I think I'll only ever order from Mr. Zuziji's from now on. Esme? <coughs> what? It's so good. Hey princesses, have you seen my hairbrush? It's not where I left it. No, but you can borrow mine. Oh no, mine's gone as well. Don't worry princesses, I'll make you some new ones with my magic screwdriver. It's gone. Another one, and they were like disappeared. So, like, and then you're coming in here saying that, like, people have been stealing your stuff. It's so crazy. I mean, who would want to steal some of my grapes? I mean, who would want to steal some of my grapes? I mean, who would want to steal all your stuff? Oh, we lost them. I mean, who would want to steal some hairbrushes, a screwdriver and some grapes? Well, we'd better start looking for some clues. Ooh, a sweet! Oh! oh. <gasps> Princesses, look! It's one of Esme's grapes! Ideas for pranks. Slime sandwich, evil video games. No, already done that one. <gasps> Aha! We've caught you red-handed. Hey! Hey, you know the rules. This is a no princess zone. 
Malice, we know you've been stealing all of our stuff. The trail of grapes leads right here. I have no idea what you're talking about, but stealing all your stuff, that's a good one. Hey, who took my evil book? But wait, if it wasn't Malice, then who could it be? <laughs> Look, over there. <gasps> Honestly, Timothy, those princesses have no manners and they think I'm evil. I've got an idea. Gee. I'm glad we stopped looking for the thief. Now we can enjoy these amazing gummy snacks. Yes, these nice, unprotected gummy snacks. Aha, gotcha. Wait, Esme, you were the one stealing our stuff. Esme. Oh, yeah, right, Esme, yeah, that's me. Wait a second. Malice! Oh, fine, it was me. Wait, but if you're in here, then who's in your super secret room? Stop right there. Oh, hey, guys. I mean, evil things, witches, hats. <laughs> Esme, why are you dressed like Malice? Oh, <laughs> Malice and I were trading places. After my grapes were stolen, Malice said she'd get me some more if I took her place for a couple of hours. But how did Malice get there and back to her room in time? Uh, hello, evil witch, amazing magic. Oh, right. Anyway, I'd better get going. I've got the perfect punishment for stealing. So then I said, I don't want to win Denisha anyway. But then Gordon started yelling something about food and taste. And I can't remember what happened. But anyway, I guess the point is, well, actually, I just didn't forget it. I don't want to win Denisha. Careful, careful. Oh, not careful. That works too. Oh, hey, Malice. What's that behind your back? Listen, I've been talking with Timothy and I'm bored of being enemies. So let's be friends. Here, I bought you this. Uh, thanks. We're about to have a movie night. If you want to join us. Oh, that'd be really nice. Thanks.
down in here! <gasps> oh no! Phew, that was close. Now time to clean this mess up before... What happened? What did you do, Malice? Me? I, I didn't! I knew you were trying to trick me. I, I wasn't... Get away from the blue button. I I wasn't going to. Oh, Malice, always the villain. Ugh, it wasn't me, Liliana. If I was going to destroy your lab, it would be destroyed. Be my delivery of spider food. You hear that, Timothy? It's almost time for din dins. Ooh. Good afternoon. Are you Malice? I am indeed. Package for you. That's all. Good day, ma'am. Thanks. Timothy, I overordered on spider food again. It's going to be a feast. Wait, this isn't spider food, it's a mirror! Dear Malice, I know you're sat there wondering why I've sent you a mirror and wondering where Timothy's spider food is. Sent him my regards, by the way. Well, this isn't any old mirror, it's a magic mirror. Enjoy, love, Gran. Oh, magic mirror! Sorry, Timothy. Did it, mate. Right. Let's see how this works. I can tell you. Huh? Well, it's me, but rather you, but not you in the mirror. I'm just gonna say it again. Huh? Ugh. So the mirror's magic makes another version of you but inside the mirror. So you live inside the mirror? Yes, but here's the fun bit. I can travel to any mirror you want. <gasps> oh, this is going to be fun. Huh? <laughs> Your 
you're right. We need a malice in the mirror. Whoa! should know better than anyone, Malice. Never mess with Malice. 500, 1,000, 1,000, 500, 2,000, 2,500. Oh, does this game ever end? It ends when one of us wins all the money. Two seconds, Liliana. Liliana's calling. Hey, Liliana, just playing Monopoly with Liliana. Who's winning? I have no idea. Liliana, I got to go. Liliana wants to tell me something. I'll call you when I'm done. Sorry, Liliana. That was Liliana. Wait. I hate to break it to you, but I've won. <laughs> if only the Chancellor of Zuzaland listened to my advice. Me. Olivia. Olivia. I've won, so I get to wear the winner's hat. Sure. Anyway, better be off. I need to get to the bottom of this. Liliana, I was just looking for you. Hang on, where's the hat? What hat? The Monopoly hat? I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, I have to dash. I'm off to play as we at ping pong. Bye. Something really strange is going on here. Oh, hey, Olivia. Whoa, you okay? I, I, sorry, got to go. I'm meeting Isabella for some shopping. Bye! What on earth is going on here? Liliana Bots, you're all doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Liliana Bots? Olivia, I wasn't expecting to see you here. And I didn't expect to see Three of you here. Oh yes, my Liliana bots. They help me to get more done. I can see all of you at once and still be here to work on my inventions. Liliana, you can't get robots to do everything for you. I want to be friends with real Liliana, not some robots. Liliana bots, abort mission. We've been rumbled. Return to base. You're right. Oh, hey, Olivia. Oh, hey, Olivia. Oh, hey, Olivia. Ah, oh, there you are. Anyway, want to see what these Lilianas can do?